We all walk and wander through life, picking up on messages from people that inspire us, or we could be flipping through the channels and somebody says something on a sitcom and you, it's like, what? And all of a sudden you feel like there's a new direction on the path that you take. And it's moments like that that you can't help but be reminded about how life is nothing but a giant classroom. And every day you walk into a whole new set of four different walls because things are going to be delivered to you to where you're going to have to step back, maybe step to the side, move forward, or better yet, maybe duck. Life gives you challenges. But are you listening to the voices that are part of the elements that make up the sunshine as it scrapes across the sky? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. This time yesterday, which was February 21st, 2018. This time yesterday, God was in heaven inviting Billy Graham to come back home. Such an important part of world history, as well as personal growth by way of spirituality. Is it wrong to say that I knew very little of the man, but grew as a Christian because of the man that he always talked about? I once tried to read his autobiography, only to find myself wandering closer to the God he spoke so highly of. In my heart, I wanted to believe that Billy knew that's what most of us would probably do. We'd go through those paragraphs he'd put in that autobiography, and then go lean on the Word of God, a living Christ that worked through him which has inspired each and every one of us to be students in that classroom on a daily basis. Now, as a child, Billy Graham was always that guy I would tune into on Sunday mornings while my family roamed around the house. I mean, I loved his energy, his conviction to ignite the wisdom of Christ, to plant seeds in our soul. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've written several times that I believe that I am in radio because of those Sunday morning visitations that I had with that guy on the television screen. Today, that very vibration is very much alive by way of the digital broadcasting that I do. The lyrics from Billy's Forest is what the show is called. You know, it actually started out from me reading from the pages that I wrote while sitting in the collection of trees at the Billy Graham Library in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, today, God has taught me that he's available in any shape of trees, but to never replace the roots that inspired the reasons to become more public with my faith. Billy Graham's heart had a way of speaking in tones that didn't require physical word formation. Being at the library, man, I'm telling you, it put trust and faith in its rightful place with a strong set of strings playing the music. I mean, I'd hear multiple miles and chapters beyond that holy place of peace. And more than ever yesterday, I heard people say, well, I'm going to miss Billy Graham. Now, I had to step back after hearing that because such thought takes me back to those two nights that I stood there at that football stadium in Charlotte watching Billy Graham bring the word of God to life in a field that's usually about guys slamming into each other trying to score points. But not that night. Billy wasn't trying to score points. That was the place that he said, I want to be face to face with God. I want to show how grateful I am in person. Rather than say that we're going to miss Billy Graham, what if I said, Maybe there's a new way. What are you missing by not knowing God? What can that voice or language be that will help you create an activated path toward a more fulfilled chapter in your growth of moving forward? It starts with openness. It has to be an open soul. Trust me, you're going to be overtaken by questions and other people's demands and commands. Staying true to the glory of God is a journey that brings every emotion in your mind, body, and soul to life. Victory is only part of what you're going to hold. Forgiveness is no different. Be willing with God's way, and you'll hear things the rest of the world is missing. I'm Arrow. That's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.